Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I'm going to go right into part two of what I was talking about uh, on the last video, the exalted Cyclops, and how now, even though they are embedded into the very fiber of this country, they still under different names now, like the race patrol, the star that they used to wear to, to, to in terrorize our enslaved African ancestors. Well, it's the same badge. It just says sheriff now. It's the badges. They have changed their names, but they are operating effectively in the judicial system, in the law, which is for them. They fronting now. They have today civil rights advocates for whites. Why do they need civil rights? Martin Luther King started that for Africans because we were not treated civilized. And now everyone is jumped on the bandwagon and we get nothing. Everyone has co-opted the NAACP is ran by Caucasians this group has also adopted the slogan America's oldest civil rights organization they do advocate placing all HIV positive Americans in state owned hospitals and something else we need to get out of black people and that's being excited and getting all happy when they say the first black this the first black that the first african-american this the first african-american man and woman that's a trick they play mind games with us because in order to be the first black anything you still have to abide by the rules and regulations that they give you if they behind you then you have to work for them and do what they say. And the Christian church receives free tax money, so they have to do what they say. And that's not tell you the truth. The first black uh, major league baseball player was Jackie Robinson. May Jam Jameson, the first woman in space. Willie O. Lee, first National Hockey League, the first black female NFL team owner, Melody Hobson. But they got you by the short hairs. You can only go so far, you can't do nothing. And they used to call it token on the job. They had, uh, what was it, affirmative action where they have to hire so many African Americans to make them look like we are progressing. Those are trinkets and kibbles and bits. We're voting for black faces. So many are that way now. I didn't know that. It's like the more you get excited about somebody that's African and American, and then something come up where they have made them bow in one way or another. They have made them submit because they used to being millionaires, wealthy, and they don't want to give it up. No one wants to have a $250,000 home and invest in stock, Amazon, and like they do, and let it grow that way. Why you got to have all these fancy cars? Why you got to have houses all over the world humble yourself down and keep your integrity not bent over without Vaseline that's all I'm saying I'm going to end with that I'm going to end you, I want to share too how I talk and how a lot of us talk even though we know the English the way they taught us to us in their schools but I say I'm gone and I be trying and I'm going to quit and I'm going to start.
That's because I'm not English. A lot of us do that. And they used to make fun of the way we used to talk. And it's because we, it's something in our bones that don't want to speak English. We're not English people. I'm not. So that's, it's just a rebellion, I guess, in our spirit and bones. Where we talk broken, they call it broken English. No matter how much they trained us to speak that way in their schools. I be trying. And I'm going to quit. And I'm going to start. And I'm fitting to. That's what is in my bones. Because it's my mama and my daddy and my grandmammy in my bones. And that's how they talked. Broken English. And then they make fun of the way Southerners used to talk. But where did they learn it from? Huh? Where they learn it from? Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate you tuning in and listening to Diva Speaks. Peace, if you can find it.